Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the AWS Lambda, Amazon Web Service Lambda service. Uh, what is Lambda? What does the this Lambda service do? And how it is used by more than 200 services or how it can be used with more than 200 Amazon services we are going to see and the second lecture in continuation of this lecture we are going to do the implementation of lambda using the aws console okay so what basically lambda is lambda is basically a serverless service okay so whenever we are going to use lambda we do not have to manage any servers that is the main benefit of using lambda we do not have to manage it we have to pay only for uh, the time we are going to use the lambda service and uh, the lambda service uh, uh, payment architecture is by the millisecond for one millisecond if you use it you have to pay for that one millisecond only okay so let's dive into the definition of lambda Okay, so what are the main functionalities and characteristics of Lambda? The first one is we will run code without provisioning or managing any infrastructure. We do not have to manage any infrastructure basically and simply write and upload code as a dot zip file or container image. Okay, now here it is different from EC2, okay, Elastic Compute Cloud. How it is different? It is different in two basic basically in two ways the basic payment method is different and the second thing is in ec2 we have to uh, not manage but we have to configure our system according to our needs we have to configure what uh, macro we have we will we need we need we have to configure what kind of operating system we want okay we want to uh, configure what kind of security we want but here lambda in lambda we just going to either do a code to the coding or we will upload our code or, or a .zip file and it will give us the output we do not have to configure a server separately for this okay second point it automatically respond to code execution requests at any scale from a dozen events per day to hundreds of thousands per second. Third, save cost by paying only for the compute time you use by per millisecond instead of provisioning infrastructure upfront for peak capacity. And it also, in addition to the third point, it also provide uh, in starting 1 million requests are free in Amazon Lambda. So the fourth point is, it optimizes code or execution time and performance with the right function memory size respond to high demand in double digit milliseconds with provision concurrency okay now moving on let us see the basic definition which i have already told you but let us read it out also aws lambda is a serverless event driven compute service okay what does it mean by serverless it the serverless part does not mean that uh there, there is going to be no server it simply means that lambda is going to manage all the servers server part all the computing part for you you just need to code it you just need to code whatever application you are coding on or you just have to provide the data to the aws lambda and the lambda is going to uh, do all the processing either you can attach uh, apis also with lambda and it can process that data so uh, starting aws from the starting i am reading aws lambda is a serverless event driven compute service that lets you run code for virtually any type of application or backend service without provisioning or managing servers you can trigger lambda from over 200 aws services and software as a service applications and only pay for what you use types of services now these are the services we are going to see how the file processing stream processing web application iot backends and mobile backends are triggered are attached with aws lambda so the first one is file processing how this file processing is done is uh, 
let us say you have taken a photograph and you just upload that photograph in Amazon S3 briefly. Amazon S3, what is Amazon S3? It is a basically a simple storage service. Basically, it is a uh, uh, you can imagine it as a uh, a hard drive, a very big hard drive in which you can store as much data as you want. So you take a photograph, you upload it to S3 and you attach your S3 with Lambda. Okay. And the Lambda will be triggered. So whatever you want to do, you want to resize it, you want to move it to mobile, you want to move it to tablet. So everything can be done by Lambda. So the Lambda runs the resizing port for your image which you have uploaded on S3. So this is one thing the Lambda will do, the file processing part. Next, what the Lambda can do, it can do stream processing. Now there is one service for, called as Amazon Kinesis. What does it do? Social media stream is loaded into Kinesis in real time. In real time, Facebook data and all the Instagram data can be loaded into Amazon Kinesis. Now, ultimately, we want uh, that data to be compiled, to be run in our code. Now, with that code, if we attach the AWS Lambda, what can it do is, it can also give us the 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 trend how in how much time uh, the data is processed uh, what are what were the problem how many millisecond it took for data okay all these there are seven to eight parameters we can uh, we will look uh, when we implement the lambda function so the lambda is triggered it goes into amazon dynamo db the hashtag trend data is stored in the dynamo db and the end we get the social media trend data immediately available for business users to query so we the the servers are obviously going to move up and down it, they are going to be elastic in nature and we are going to immediately get the required result from our uh, live media stream okay so this is one part, the stream processing part, uh, AWS Lambda is going to perform. Here I've just added a slide on Amazon Kinesis, what, what it is basically. So what it is, is Amazon Kinesis is data stream is a serverless streaming data service that simplifies the capture, processing and storage of data streams at any scale. So you can look into it and we can attach the with Amazon Kinesis uh, EC2 or Lambda spark also we can attach okay all these things we can attach with the kinesis to get the output next we have the third thing the lambda function can do is web application we can attach it with web application we can attach it with web, web api like we have the web apis of netflix we have the web apis of gmail uh, with zomato with all the food processing apps okay and those api api are going to directly uh, communicate with the aws lambda servers and at the end we can get the amazon dynamo db dynamo db contains the weather data used by the app okay so weather api we are going to get it attached with aws lambda and that uh, lambda function, the lambda server uh, are going to give us the real time update of the weather data. The fourth is the IoT backends. For example, there are some tractors running in the farmer fields and the tractor sensors send data to Amazon Kinesis. Amazon Kinesis captures and streams the sensor data for processing by lambda. Now the lambda is triggered and AWS lambda runs all the code and gives us the output or in this case the tractor is uh, the the output is basically if any part is broken in tractor so that also lambda is can provide or the real time data through kinesis is going into the lambda function and we are getting the output for any replacement of any of the tractor parts we, if we want now the last is we can attach it with mobile backends also. The user posts a status update. It goes into the API 
and then Lambda is triggered with it. And then Amazon SNS status update notification is pushed to the user's friend and user's friend receives status update notification. Okay, so we can see uh, with various, with a uh, length of and breadth of services, the AWS Lambda is can be used and uh, uh, without uh, managing the servers, we can use it. So thank you for uh, coming to this lecture and thank you for listening to this lecture. We will move, we will meet in the next lecture. Thank you very much.